Hi, my name is Megan Narvis and I like picture books. If you were a child, <laughs> if you ever been a child before, you would have read a picture book. I certainly have. I read very good ones. Let's see, The Caterpillar. Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. That was my favorite. I love that book. Did you know there's an app for that? I heard about this the other day and I wanted to try it out, but uh, it says it's $5.99 right here, so that means it costs money. I was really intrigued by this app because one of the screenshots says shake the pigeon. I want to shake the pigeon. So you might be wondering why. I am talking about picture books. I had the fabulous idea of making my own picture book because I actually I have no idea. I want this picture book to be not that wholesome. I need something violent to help me with that. I went to this website that has like an AI writer. I actually used this website for my one of my videos that I made a few months ago. My favorite pair of pants ran away. So the only idea at the moment that I have is that the main character is a triceratops. I'm not sure about a name. Maybe this can help me with a name. Once upon a time there was a triceratops named Techna. She lived in a big crater with a lot of other Triceratops. It was a very sad day when all the Triceratops died. Yeah! I kind of like that name. Techna. Techna the Triceratops. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got excited when all of them died. <laughs> Techna was very sad. And then she found out that she was the only Triceratops left. So she became the last Triceratops. Then they did a test on her. She had to walk into the maze and find the power switch. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? But the maze was so confusing she couldn't find it. She kept going around and around in circles. Then she realized the only way she could find the switch was to look at it. So she looked at the switch but it was too dark to see anything. And then she walked all the way out of the maze. <laughs> A few days later, they came back. It was spring. They did the same test on Technas before. But this time, she had something special. She had the power to turn on any of the lights in the maze. She walked into the maze and turned on the lights. She turned them all at once, and all of the lights in the maze flickered and went out. Then the maze started to change. The walls and the floor changed, and she found herself in a different place. I'm not sure if I like this one. Why is there a maze? I want it to kind of make sense. So I'm just gonna stop at so she became the last Triceratops. Okay, I kind of like this one a bit better. So she became the last Triceratops. She decided to name the crater Techna Crater. <laughs> now she's living in Techna Crater and she's sad. Yeah, that, that one makes more sense to me. <gasps> oh my god, and it added and she can never die. That's such a good plot twist! Oh no, it generated more sad! So she can never die. She would like to have some friends and maybe even a girlfriend, but she's afraid that no one will want to be friends with a dinosaur! No, 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 I want to make this wholesome now. I want to give her friends and a girlfriend now. I wanted to have a happy ending. No, I don't want her to be sad without friends and no girlfriend. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe I'll start writing from now. I don't wanna- Oh my god. I said I wanted it to be violent, but I can't. I can't do it. One day, there was- Oh no, no, no. Maybe one day, she went out to explore. I'm bad at typing. Okay, let's start out with that. A funny thing happened. She met a little dragon named Zelda. <laughs> Zelda really liked Techna. I love dinosaurs, she said. Then Zelda wanted to explore the crater with Techna, but she was really tired. Techna wanted to explore with her, but she was really tired too. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> Okay, I love this. I'm starting to like it. Okay, okay, this is better than when she got stuck in the maze or something. It was night, and the two of them just rested. Next day, they explored some more. Oh my god, it's something bad. Maybe. So I added, they ventured out to a foreign land. So they ventured out to a foreign land. And then... Crap. Generate text, I can't. I can't think. They saw lots of new sites, but unfortunately one of the sites was a DRAGON! Is it a big dragon? Because Zelda is a little dragon. Let's just change it to 
giant dragon instead. The dragon attacked them! The dragon used a flame breath to burn Tecna! Zelda tried to attack the dragon, but she didn't have any luck. Tecna's eye fell out! It was a sad day for Tecna! <laughs> no! No, no, no! 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 What the frick? Where? cried the Satrair Trops. I can't say it because I'm too shocked at what this thing is doing. Where? cried the tri Triceratops. She was sad because she couldn't see. I wanted this to be wholesome. Tecna climbed the mountain. She was hoping to get better eyes, but she got but she got hurt even more. Tecna fell and got caught by a river. Tecna started to cry. Then she fell into a cave. Okay, I was hoping that it would go like they ventured out and found more friends. That's what I was hoping it would do, but her eye fell. Okay, then she fell into a cave and there she met a strange round pink creature. The pink creature introduced herself as Dr. Moof. I'll add something good. Dr. Moof is going to help her with her eye. She helped Tecna by, I don't know, um regenerating her eye I... there that's what i'm gonna go for wait but where's zelda in all of this zelda ran into the cave and um i don't know i honestly have no idea what else so she ran into i'm just adding zelda so like we could just get this over with i don't want this to be any more violent than it is i'll just go with zelda ran into the cave Tecna, she screamed. Are you okay? Tecna was tired. It's okay, Zelda, said Tecna. Okay, that's okay. Thanks for generating something good. <laughs> I'll just rest here a little bit. Tecna closed her eyes. She was very tired. She dreamed of being... I'm gonna finish this. She dreamed of being... Not the last Triceratops. So Dr. Move offered them to stay in her cave. I want to show you my world, said Dr. Moof. My world is filled with amazing, weird, and wonderful creatures. In my cave, there is a magic wand that helps me create new creatures. <gasps> Maybe this is a way to get the Triceratops back. This is way too long. Is this way too long? I have to illustrate. Maybe I should make a part two. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just make where she says the magic wand. Like this part gonna be, this is gonna be the ending. I just need to add something right here. Tecna and uh, what's Zelda accepted her offer. Yeah, that was okay. <laughs> that was a roller coaster of emotions for me. I'm just going to put this into a Word doc. Oh my god, my ring light is not working right now, so like the lighting may be a bit like wee woo wee woo like that. So sorry. <laughs> Okay, so now I have to do the, what you call it, the illustrations. I think I'm going to work on that off camera because that's going to take a while for me to get the illustrations done. So I'm just going to work on that off camera and then I'm just going to start recording when I got all of that done. So this is kind of embarrassing. That recording was on Thursday. It's now Sunday. I gave myself a deadline of Sunday or else I wouldn't like actually get it done. I actually didn't get it done because I just remembered that I forgot about it. <laughs> I made some sketches, like idea sketches of what the uh, what, what would it look like? I only got like a quarter of it done. I did make like a sketch of Tecna that made her cute because I wanted her to look cute. But that's it. That's the only thing that's colored in. So, yeah. <laughs>